Hey friends, it's Eliz, your official craft nerd, and today I've got two easy DIYs that you can do using Dollar Tree items that will get you into the Valentine's Day mood. So let's get right on into it. So here are the items I'm going to use today. I'm using this jar that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, I was flipping through some of my fabrics, but I ended up using this washcloth from Dollar Tree as well as the mop. And then I had a leftover garland ribbon from, I believe it was Target uh, from a while back that I decided to use. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to use, obviously, my mop for my first project. Now my first project is going to be these awesome, adorable little gnomes. And, you know, yep, I fell into the gnome game, y'all. I had to. They're too cute not to. Um, but, hey, you know what? Before I get into it, if you guys don't already, I hope you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button anytime I upload something new. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram on uh, at official craft nerd. I had to stop and think about it for a second. Okay, so back into the project. I've cut off all of the uh, mop strands that I wanted and for each gnome I'm just using half of the mop. So I am just taking each individual piece and I'm gluing two rows of them. I knew it was going to need to be um, a little bit fuller so it would hide the jar behind it. Um, and I'm just gluing these to the lid because this is a removable lid on these jars and I really wanted this to not only be a decor piece for the holiday but also to be actually usable so you can put things in here you know you can put candy in there whatever the case um, but I didn't want to do anything to the actual jar so in hindsight I probably should have did the bottom row first but I didn't I did the top and then I went back in and just kind of flipped them over to put in the bottom row of all of these uh, mop strands So after all of the hair has been glued to the jar, you see me here just taking just a very rough cut piece of that chamois cloth and making a hat out of it. So you could do this out of any fabric. You could do it out of felt. Um, you saw in the beginning, I was, I was contemplating a lot of different things. I had the buffalo check fabric, you know, but this white just kind of suits my my style a little bit better and I thought it ended up looking so adorable um, and again there's no rhyme or reason to this this was just kind of folding it over and making the best hat that I possibly could for my gnome here um, and what I did was I just fitted it on there just to make sure you know it looked good everything was even um, and I really liked how it was looking so at this point, I decide I'm going to unravel my beard. <laughs> um, and during the process of this, I do have to kind of go in and kind of re-glue some of the pieces that may have not been fully secure in the beginning. Um, but that's okay. Uh, this took a little bit of time, not a whole lot, but uh, it's definitely made me think about when you were like in high school and you used to braid your hair just to get it to be like crimpy. I don't know, maybe that was just me. <laughs> But I would put like a hundred braids in my hair and then the whole unraveling part was just like this. So <laughs> it's funny that this made me think of that. But in any case, uh, once this is all done, it just, it looks so much better unraveled. Um, it's just, it's fuller, it's stringier, it definitely has more of a beard uh, vibe. So of course, a gnome is not a gnome without a bead for the nose and the way that I hid that this was a bead is I actually kind of glued some of the beard along the sides of it to kind of cover those holes. Um, and then I went in and put some more strands just above just to kind of hide that little gap there. And I'm also going to go in and put some underneath 
uh, his nose as well, just to you know cover up that part of the glass too. Now that pieces or that pieces, those pieces are actually a little bit shorter, so I did trim those down just so that the entire beard was even. So to finish this up, I decided I wanted to add something to the end of the hat. Now this hat was kind of floppy and I knew that, so what I ended up doing is I just found what I had on hand, which happened to be some paper towel, and I just molded a piece and shoved it on in there and it was perfect. It just gave it the stand up that it needed. And then I just took one of those um, soft uh, plush hearts that I had from an old garland and glued it to the very end of my gnome and when it's all said and done you guys this was probably the cutest gnome project I've ever created I've I don't think I've done many gnomes in the past um, but I actually really really adore these guys so I have two this one the only difference was to add some braids little hearts on the braids with some felt but I just loved love love these guys you have to tell me what you think about them you know down in the comments below. I really hope you love them. I'm so proud of my little gnome couple. Okay, so for my second DIY, I'm taking this sign that I got from the 99 cent only store, and the sign itself was about two bucks, but it's pretty thick. It's very hard and sturdy and I just I love this sign I really actually love the color of the sign but um, I had to basically cover up that decal that's on there I could not get the decal off without just completely destroying the sign now the glue was not hard I, all I had to do was just heat it up a little bit and scrape it off but you can see that that love um, vase that they kind of painted on there it was just kind of it wasn't even standing off for me so I thought, okay, I'm just going to paint over it, but I didn't want it to be a heavy, thick coat of paint. I watered down some of my Waverly Chalk Paint Steel, uh, and I was just going to try to do kind of like a, um, just like a wash on this, but I did have to do two coats of this because you could still see the love popping through underneath. So, uh, and I will say that this foam brush was a pain in my butt. <laughs> these phone brushes if you get them from the Dollar Tree which I do stock up on the crafters bench phone brushes those are a little bit more sturdy however the ones that are in the crafters square section are pretty what do I say pathetic <laughs> the foam is very thin very floppy you can't really do a whole lot with it so in any case that's why you see me kind of struggling on there but that's all right so what I do next is I am mixing up some pinks. Like I had some apple barrel pink already, but then I just took some of the apple barrel red, mixed it with some white just to give me a different shade. I'm taking these wooden heart pieces that are also from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to give them a coat of this paint. Now what I decided to do was to do two of them in the light pink and the other one in the slightly darker pink.
So once they're both dry, I decided I'm going to add a little bit of an accent to all of them. So taking the opposite color, I'm just kind of giving them a little bit of a shadow just on the side. And that's just me. Uh, I like to be a little bit extra when it comes to uh, things that I make and paint. And I just think it gives it just a little bit more dimension than just being a flat color. Um, I would have liked it flat colored too. I, I just felt like just for this particular project, I wanted it to have a little bit more depth in it. Um, so you can see here just me adding the shadows. And then I also go in and take a little bit of white and kind of just add a little bit of that highlight there. Just again to give it just a little bit more um, than what was already there. So what I'm doing next is taking these hearts and I am just going to glue them on the middle. But I had the idea that I wanted to frame the sign and I wanted to use these bamboo flat sticks that I had got from um, Amazon. Wanted to try them out, see if, you know, they were worth uh, using. And I actually was really excited to use these. I like that they were nice and thin and flat. Um, they were different than the normal popsicle sticks that I use. So um, was definitely excited. But you can see I had to kind of measure it out. Obviously, they weren't as long to cover the bottom ends of these signs. But it's okay. Uh, I did go ahead and kind of wash it real quick with a white paint, uh, just the apple barrel paint, and just to give it a little bit more of a toned down look instead of just having that raw wood on there. I didn't think that that really went um, with this. Uh, once that was done, I went ahead and got the hearts glued down in the middle, and then I'm going to go around the edges and glue the uh, bamboo sticks as well. Now, I really, really liked how this turned out, you guys. Now, the one thing, though, that did um, throw me off was, of course, the holes on the side. Now, I know some people probably wouldn't care. They wouldn't really pay attention to that. I could have filled those in before I painted. You know, there's a whole bunch of different things I could have done. But in this case, I decided I am going to try to cover them up the best way that I could. And on my desk, I actually had some of this greenery lying around and thought, okay, maybe this will look nice <laughs> with this sign. So I just went for it, you guys, and I just kept building up on it, just gluing down pieces of this greenery. Now, I do believe I got this from Dollar Tree. Now, when? I don't know. I think it was probably a year or so ago. Um, I haven't seen it around since, but... Um, I had a bunch of these pieces still lying around and I kept them. So this ended up being the perfect project to use them with. So you have to tell me what you guys think. Um, I know I probably could have did a whole lot more with this, but I like the simplicity. I think it, it'll work for my personal decor. And this is the final project here, guys. You know, again, I just think it's adorable. It's super pretty. It's not too overpowering uh, holiday Valentines. <laughs> And it just works. So, again, leave your thoughts and comments down in the um, comments below. And I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Again, please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe, you guys. And I will see you all soon. Take care.